Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 20. Fraction equivalence, ordering, and operations. Topic D, fraction addition and subtraction. Now, lesson 20 is one of the lessons in this module that extend beyond what the standard for fourth grade is asking students to do. So I'm not going to go in depth on this lesson. I'm just going to do one little part of it. All right. To begin with, let's think about what one banana plus one orange would be. Is it two bananas? No. Is it two oranges? No. In order for us to add these two things together, we need to change the unit that we're counting. We can call them both pieces of fruit. So we can answer saying one banana plus one orange is equal to two pieces of fruit. The same holds true when we add fractions. We need our units to be the same when we add our fractions together. So let's take one-third plus one-sixth as an example. When we add one-third plus one-sixth together, we need to change the units so that the units are the same. Let's take a look at an area model of one-third. So this model represents one-third. I have a hole, it's separated into three parts, and one of the parts is shaded. Now I'm going to show an area model of one-sixth. So this area model is broken up into six parts, and one of those parts is shaded. What we need to do in order to create like units, to make our units the same, we need to decompose our thirds. If I decompose the one-third pieces by multiplying one-third times two-halves, that means I'm taking my one-third piece and I'm making it into two smaller pieces. If I do that, I can see that one-third is equal to two-sixths. See, here's one-sixth right here. And here's another sixth right here. These two parts make two-sixths. So I can now add these parts together. I can add two-sixths and one-sixth. Because one-third is equal to two-sixths. Two-sixths plus one-sixth is three-sixths. One, two, three. All right. There is a lot more to Lesson 20, but I'm not going to get too far into it because it really does extend past the standard for fourth grade. It also is a great lesson to lay a foundation for students with their fifth grade work and also some of the work we have to do when we get to adding and subtracting decimals.